stretching it and stretching it because people are still arriving, which is wonderful. Hello, everyone. We're going to jump into our first tune. And before we do this, how many of you know the song? The Yiddish song. The Yiddish song. It's a known Yiddish song. Ed, you don't know it. I'm surprised. Uh, interesting. Beth, you know it? That's very... Uh, it's good. It's good to discover people don't know it because it's... Um, if I make mistakes, you may not notice. So this is one of the songs that I learned in my early years of uh, learning about klezmer music of uh, Yiddish songs. And um, my band, Simcha, back in Russia, used to, to perform it. So the melody that I learned went like this. I'll sing it. I die, 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 I die, I die, die, I die, die. Which is very similar to what you have in the sheet music I sent you. But I think it's okay to sing variations, so I'll teach you the tune how I know it without looking at music at all. We'll go softly, slowly, and then we will look at the wonderful text. I think it's a fun text, especially to sing today. Die, 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 die. Listen, let's go. I'll lead you through it. Let's go. Two, three, tie, die, 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 I die, I die, I die, 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 I die, I die, die, die. How is that? Tie, die, 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 I die. Together. Tie, die, 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 I die. Tie, die, 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 easy isn't it let me just see easy and if it's not exact don't follow me exactly um, um, yeah we'll do it one more time I'm looking at you I have a gallery view let's see how you're singing with me one two three die 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 I die I die 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 the second half and there are two more sections uh, to this tune um, in the instrumental version there is a, an instrumental tune recorded by the Belf Orchestra and others numerous others called Yechas that's the usual name for the song it has two more instrumental sections they are in one of the vocals uh, interpretation as that's by Aron Lebedev and you may have uh, seen it on the website. We're not going to listen to Aron Lebedev's version even though I think it's one of the best ones. We're going to look at the score and sing the song. Let's go. Before we sing the song with text, let's just enjoy that fun tune. Fun tune, you can imagine it being uh, danced to. Okay. to sing it exactly as written and I'm just going to leave it at that with your certainty of the tune uh, sing it as you like like you guys Leslie and Jackie there's stuff happening uh, all happy stuff I hope okay good let's look at the text the text is um, not very royal why are you my little kitten angry with me why did you why are you your nose is turned down Arab Gilos yeah turn, looking down Maybe you want to know of my, um, my where I came from, right? Uh, my ancestry, right? Yikas. Um, where I come from and from what? My father is a Shmara Voznik. Now, Shmara Voznik. Do we know what Shmara Voznik means? 
what some of you are laughing okay shmara is a prostitute Voznik is somebody who takes them from place to place comes from vazit to 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 kind of to to drive people so um the father has a, a very respectful profession as we can tell my mama gunned fish and my mother steals fish in the market and my brother is a kartoshnik here comes the russian word he plays the cards um and my schwester Tididididam. We used to sing tra la 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 la, means the same. No sisters, we assume a prostitute. My father is a gestan of the rogan. My, uh, what is that? Gestan of the rogan. Uh, hangs around street corners. Yeah, but what does that mean? I don't really know what that profession is. <laughs> just hang. It's not a profession. He just stands uh, on street corners. And my aunt, she is a street peddler. This translates her handlerke in mark in the market. My brother is in the astrogen. Astrogen is prisons, and my schwester, we know the sister, what she does. My zeide is given a shoichet. Now shoichet, as far as I understand, is a better profession. It's um, it's somebody who kills animals uh, for food for meat. And the shoichet, as far as I understand, in the Jewish world would be somebody who would do it in the kosher way, in the correct way. That's what I know, right? So it's a little bit more, you know, respectful. There needs to be some training in a, in a shoichet profession. And my boba, my grandmother, a tikkeren and bod, and she um, works in a bath uh, tikkeren. She attends the bathhouse, the baths. Uh, and me, myself, is a mamzer. I'm a bastard. Uh, interesting, right? <laughs> a bastard, even though he explains about his family. Um, and I have been taken from the from an orphanage. See how interesting that is? <laughs> Paulina? Uh, huh? Paulina, is this always done with mine? I thought I've heard it with Dein Mama, Dein Tata. I thought it's like an insult song where it's addressed to someone it's putting some very down. interesting Paul that you bring it up in some versions it's sung as dine says uh, you're you know explaining about her family your family do that and you and, and the, yeah and it's an insult uh, the... but in many versions it's sung as die as mine you want to know where I come from now here it is all my dirty background which turns the, reason... the song into a different song the reason I asked is that um, you know the mm -hmm. African-American um, practice of the dozens I just put in a, a link uh -huh. it's where it's a verbal game where you, where you put down the other person oh your mama this and that every time I hear this song I, I think of the dozens I, I didn't realize that it seems like a parallel I didn't think it had a parallel in, in Jewish culture you know what this is a very uh, East European thing to say you to offend your relatives with, huh. with much worse things than just that you know yeah I figured <laughs> I've always known this song. I, there is the Barry Sisters, the famous Barry Sisters version. I think it's yes. done. Oh, it's, it's mine. Oh, it uh, is. It says my my. Does everyone understand what we're talking about? There's a. It's either my my family, my my sister, my brother do that, do that, do that, even though I'm an orphan, or your sister, your mother do that, right? So, the, I know more versions about my family. Yeah. You're such a pure lady, you want to know what I do, this is what I do. But it, I don't know what the origin is because there is no origin. We don't know. We can turn it either way. So, how about singing it? Shall we? Let's do it. Right. Und mein Bruder sitzt in die Astrogen, 
Mein Seele ist gewann erschweichet, mein Bobe hat die Gerennen Wort, und allein bin ich hoi hoi am Anzer, und genommen bin ich von Priot, und allein bin ich hoi am Anzer, und genommen bin ich von Priot. Dai, 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 dai. That was a somewhat lower key for us. We can sing it one more time on a higher key. Now, who knows the Barry Sisters version? There is a, a Bulgar introduction. Bulgar is a dance. Tam, pa -pam, pa -pam, pa -pam, pa -pam. You know, you can do that. Uh, but in the melody itself, there is nothing to indicate it's a Bulgar melody. A Bulgar usually has tam, papam, somewhere in the melody as well. Not here. So when some people argue it's a Bulgar, those of you who are interested in Yiddish dancing, I don't think it is. It's a Freilach. And when you hear instrumental versions of this, they do sound like a Freilach, like a fast dance. Okay, what's happening here? What's happening here? Barry Sisters. The Barry Sisters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yiddish grammar, female and male. Okay, anything we need to know? Things are happening. Okay, I'm oh, not going to follow everything in the chat. Yeah, the best. Is that where Shmara Voz? Is that Russian? Shmara Voznik. So Shmara, as far as I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone here in the group knows, Shmara is, um, is a, a, a criminal, really, word for a prostitute. Not Russian? Um, uh, I think it's Russian, but I think it's a special Fenya. Um, Fenya, which is a special prison language. Yeah, that went into Odessa language. Uh, was kind of some of these words are used in the general language, but they are originally from from very much Yiddish influenced as well in Odessa. And Voznik, Vazit, comes from Vazit, which is to, to drive. Right. Yeah, to give and someone a ride. So Shmara Voznik, in many different versions of this song on the internet and in books, you will see that Shmara Voznik is translated differently. I don't remember how. There are other versions and even on this one, let's see what it says. I think I may have corrected it to what I saw in the Israeli publication. Uh, yeah, delivers horse to clients. Exactly. That's what it does. But in, in other versions, it's translated as something else. I did a Russian language search on Shmara Voznik. And it came up with exactly what I'm saying. And it's, okay. that's what it is. The Yiddish dictionary just says wagon greaser, meaning, I think, meaning yes. the person who greases that, yeah. Yes, and that's what I saw in that translation, I think, which is, which is interesting. Yeah, it's rude. <laughs> Let's let's admit it. This is rude. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to bring you up on a higher key, and we are going to sing it one more time. Um, hopefully with uh, a bit more anger and that. Yeah. Good. Let's go. Uh, share my screen. Now you notice I sing uh, variations of the tune. Never mind. Sing your own. Let's go here. Da -da 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 -da. A bit higher. Schwester, diddle, diddle, dam. Oh, and my brother sits 
Song. We know that Aaron Lebedev sang it. This is beginning of the 20th century, into the 20s. Um, now, what I found interesting is that even now, I think I mentioned it on my website, even now, uh, certainly in our time in the 90s, the song was sung in Crimea. Uh, some of you may know Andrei Bretstein, who is a Yiddishist. I think he now lives in Israel, but he was, I think, uh, from Simferopol originally. I met him in St. Petersburg, I met him in, in uh, Crimea at a class fest. He, is, he translates from Yiddish, he speaks Yiddish, he teaches Yiddish, uh, and he writes work on, works on Yiddish writers. And uh, he posted his version, the version he knew from the 90s, from Simferopol, he says, 1998. And he, he uh, published a text that, uh, you know, he remembered. It's also Shmaravoznik, it's also Gandhi's um, Fish and Mark, also Kartoznik. And then he says, Zol sie alle sein gesund und stark. Uh, let them all be um, strong and healthy. It's a slight variation of, uh, of that text. Uh, and it also says, uh, mein Tata. So my, my, my father, mein Schwester. So it's his family, right? Interesting. Uh, so it's uh, become popular after the Barry sisters recorded it, which where was that uh, year, year 50 something, I don't quite remember. What's also interesting that Andrei Bretstein uh, mentions that he, they used to sing it to a different tune as well, to the tune that we know as Mechotoniste Meine, and I don't quite know how it's possible. Mechotoniste Meine, Mechotoniste Getreie, I tried to put this text to Mechotoniste Meine tune, it didn't quite work for me, so maybe I should contact Andrei Bretstein and see what he says. Does anyone else know Mechotoniste Meine? Yeah, some people do. It's interesting. I can't really put these two, uh, the, turn, the tune and the text together. So I, I stick to this one. Now, we might have time to sing it at the end of our session, but I actually wanted to spend a little bit more time with our Russian song today. Okay? We haven't sung Russian songs for a while. And this song has been introduced to me. I kind of, I was reminded of this song by a member of the Brighton Hove Russian choir, Hugh who actually sang it in public uh, just the day before yesterday for the first time. I think it was um, Hugh's premiere of the song. I just remembered the name of that song and vaguely remembered the tune. Hugh, and you are here, right? You are here in this group where I... Yes, hello. Do you want to say a couple of words about how you found this song, why you like it, what, what attracted you to it? Uh, I, yeah, well, uh, I heard it sung on uh, Shalyapin record, of course. And uh, I thought it sounded wonderful and then tried to find the music and words for it mm -hmm. and started, started learning it and uh, sang it for the first time last on Saturday. I think it's a lovely song. Right. Yeah. And it's the song of a prisoner, as we know. Yes. Yes. Right. So uh, when Hugh brought this song to our choir session and said he wanted to sing it in the concert as a solo, I, uh, he also, you mentioned that it was um, attributed to, uh, to, to Gorky, right? Okay. Maxim yes. Gorky. Yes. Yeah, the famous Russian um, uh, writer Maxim Gorky. Uh, uh, he actually quoted the song. He quoted the first three verses of that song in his play. Uh, the play was... Um, became popular, was staged in, in Moscow in 1902. That was the premiere. The, the, the play is called uh, on the bo At the Bottom, meaning the bottom of society. 
right? Yes. So um, still, uh, some people think that that song actually was uh, written by Gorky. But then uh, Hugh and I started exchanging emails and doing some search. So we found out that it's a much earlier song. Uh, the song was uh, very popular in Russia in 1880s, in the 1880s. At that time, there were lots of prisoner songs, lots of songs of that genre um, spreading around Russia, coming all the way from Siberia, from Irkutsk. And um, different melodies were attached to different uh, lyrics and, you know, how these folk songs emerge. You know, there's a, there's a poem that appears in a newspaper somewhere and then a known tune gets attached to the song, to that poem, and it spreads around Russia all over. This happened with this particular poem. We don't know who wrote it. But we know that it's been published uh, and it's been sung all over the place uh, in the 1890s, 1880s. Ivan Bunin, maybe some of you know, I know some of you know of Ivan Bunin, a, a beautiful Russian poet, beautiful Russian writer of that time, uh, mentioned in his writings that this song has been sung by the whole of Russia in the end of the, that century, 19th century. So it's not surprising that Gorky when writing about the bottom of the Soviet, of the Russian society, mentioned, quoted that song as an example, as a, actually as a quote. So he didn't really write that. What I also found, um, found out is that um, there were at least nine or ten different variations of that poem and of that song. And that that song has been sung, the poem has been sung to different tunes. Some of you know, Chorny Voran. Что ты вьешься над моею головой? Ты добычи не добьешься, черный ворон, я не твой. Also a song about um, somebody who doesn't have any freedom, and you black uh, raven, you will not, don't wait for me to die, you won't get your, your food today. So that's a famous Russian song, still sung widely. Yeah, you know that one? The Lower Depths of oh, the Lower Depths. Oh, right, that's the name of the of the play, The Lower Depths. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Uh, so that Chorny Voren, the Black Raven song, is widely known. Apparently, the poem, which we're going to look at today, was sung to that melody. Also, it was sung to another melody, uh, Alexandrovsky Central, that came from... Irkutsk. I actually want to show you that. Uh, can you see what I'm showing you? Uh, it, there's a Russian tune here. Da leko v strane Irkutske. Is that? Are you seeing that? No, no we're, see, we're still yeah, seeing. Okay, let me see if I can share the other one. It's the melody. Oh, here we go. The melody. I didn't translate it to this one. Yeah, see this? It says 1880s at the. No, no, we're still seeing the other screen, the Bolshevistu. Sorry. Oh, see, I'm obviously not... Maybe you have to stop sharing and start again. Uh, no. Is that it now? No? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It says 1880s. Daliko v strane Irkutskai Mejdu duch ogromnych Он стеной высокой Александровский вокзал Обнесен стеной высокой Александровский вокзал Oh, Central, sorry. Хью, you recognize this tune? Yes, yes, it's very like the one that uh, that I sang, yeah. yes. Very much like it, but with a slight difference, yeah? Slight difference, yes. So apparently, that's, this, was, um, this was a known song in the 1880s, um, coming from Irkutsk, which is, you know, further, further, further east, cold places, right. you don't want to go there unless you want to work in Irkutsk, but it's dark and cold and all that. Uh, so that tune traveled to central Russia and was sung to this poem as well. So we don't really know what was originally, you know, the tune going with that song. Nevertheless, we're going to look at the song in question today. And you will see that the tune is very, very similar to what I just sang. Da, 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 da. <laughs> 
which exists in some of the versions, which you did sing in our concert. Okay, um, does this sound like anything else we've sung before to, to you? What do you think? I don't no. know, does anybody die? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, not yet. But not it's, yet. Very dark, it's very dark in terms of its message. Yeah. Even though, he, even though he's not died yet, but it won't be very long, I suspect. Yeah, it's it's very dark. The thing is that also at that time in Russia, uh, what was uh, popular is the whole genre of songs um, that would uh, make people, make the listener, you know, cry. And, and uh, there were lots of street beggars who would sing poverty songs in order to get some money and um, all that super emotional, super dark, super kind of loaded kind of style of singing was very much out there. And we know that generally in literature and in all sorts of other arts, there was like the, the top point of romanticism and um, top point of super expressive um, anywhere, super expressive mode in any culture. So in, in folk culture, we have this too. Uh, let's look at the tune first. It's quite, um, it's not as straightforward as the Yiddish one. So we'll uh, sing through the top melody, then sing through the bottom melody. And then I would like to sing, to, you know, so you sing the lower melody and then I sing the higher melody. We'll have a, a bit of a two part, a bit of harmony singing together before we look at text. So we're singing a tone lower than it's written. Okay, I'll sing the top melody now. Sing with me if you wish. La 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 to sing the lower melody this time. Let's go. Ta -da -da. is here who can do that now i invite you to sing the lower melody and i sing the higher one okay some of them sometimes they are they are unisons yeah so it'll be easy let's go da, da, da. Oh, 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 oh. 
just out of curiosity. Did anyone sing um, a different part? Yeah? How was that? It sounds great a cappella. We're going to swap and I'll sing the lower melody and I won't play. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, here we go. Let's go. I sing the lower tune, sing a higher one if you want. <laughs> la, la, la. these octaves and parallel thirds splitting into octaves at the end the ech in unison all that is very very characterful also slow tempo third note in the next to the last measure should be d not e um da da um lux da 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 wait where are you paul where do you mean da Which one do you mean? The last. Da, 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 da. I'm on a different key. I can't switch. Paul. Oh, second, got... second line next to the last measure. Steady good. Ste... On good. Steady good. Yeah, it should be <clears throat> D instead of E. The lower line. Yeah, it should go down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I didn't uh -huh. even look because I, <laughs> it's so much in my head. Thank you very much. So here, here, steady, good, my York, not should go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Okay, now let's look at what it means. Um, it is indeed quite dark. Um, the sun rises and sets. And in my prison is dark. Dni i nochi chasavye. Days and nights, chasavye. Chasy is a clock. Chasavoy is somebody who who guards by the by the clock, certain hours, right? So they change, uh, yeah, change over. Chasavye guards. Da ech, ech means da ech. Stirigut they guard. Mayo my akno my window. Как хотите стерегите, guard the as you like, as you wish. Я и так не убегу. I won't run away anyway. Мне и хочется на воле, even though I want to be free. I want to go to freedom. Yeah? Да эх. Цепь порвать я не могу. I cannot tear the chain. Right? Ах, вы цепи мои цепи. Now he's talking to the chains. Oh, you my chains, my chains. Вы железные сторожа. You are my iron, uh, iron made uh, gods. Uh, не сорвать меня, I can't tear you, не порвать меня, I can't tear you off, I can't tear you apart. Да эх, ой эх, истомилась вся душа, my soul is, uh, is in longing, yeah? Uh, how does it translate here? Uh, can't tear them, break. Oh, my whole soul is exhausted, истомилась, yeah. Солнце uh, лучше не заглянет, no ray of the sun will shine in, right? Птиц не слышно голоса. Birds are not heard. The voices of the birds are not heard. Как цветок, like a flower. И сердце, the heart, вянет. To, to, вянуть is to... Actually, wilt, to, wilt, wilt. Or wilt, to... yeah, my heart wilts like a, like a flower. Не глядели бы глаза. Hard for the eyes to see, for my eyes to see. As you can see, it's very, very simple. It's written really like a genuine prisoners you know not high poetry at all really quite simple poem thrown together sometimes it changes meaning it's not quite a, it's chunky and it's simple and it's grounded yeah so now let's try and sing it now i think you're okay with we mostly sing yiddish songs 
Should we just try singing the Russian without really speaking through anything? Can we try that? Yeah, well, if something is really difficult and you really want to get the Russian word, stop me and we'll speak through a line. Otherwise, it's a slow song. I'll be singing it slowly. Uh, let's just enjoy it um, like that, slowly uh, going into that dark mode. Now, you should be seeing the whole song here on your screen, yeah? Like that. So the four lines are bef be uh, on top of the music are for Latin readers and the bottom is for Cyrillic readers. <laughs> about something else as I was singing the right the, the wrong text to the last line I remembered that the song Alexandrovsky Central uh, the one that the melody came from presumably or the, the one that has the same melody was forbidden um, after the February Revolution after the revolution in 1905 in Russia you know that there were two revolutions in 1905 1905 and then uh, another uh, another one oh the february revolution no there was that one february 1905 and after that powers have changed and um, apparently the song about the people in prison had a, a more um socially kind of angled text and it was forbidden to be sung in russia at that time interesting how songs can be um, can carry a message and get forbidden how about singing this a cappella 
Are most of you singing the lower melody? Me who sings the lower melody? Okay, who sings the higher melody? Right, okay, um, let me sing the lower melody this time. It'll be more authentic. Yeah, I'll sing the lower melody and we will sing it one more time. Maybe we can stretch it a little bit more because I just love seeing it in a, in a more kind of uh, non-aristocratic way, not the way it would have been sung, uh, not the way that Shalyapin, the famous Russian bass, sings it, and not the way that we hear in the Sveshnikov choir interpretation or some other choir interpretations with a whole big choral group accompanying uh, the soloist, but we also hear very nice choral, actually choral and um, group singing and duo singing, uh, interpretations where it's just these lines, sometimes maybe splitting into three, but it's just these two lines, which is very folky. Let's go. Ready? Sing a harmony line, come on. Солнце всходит и заходит, а в тюрьме моей темно. Дни и ночи часовые, да эх, стерегут мое окно. Хотите, стерегите, я и так не убегу, мне и хочется на волю. Да. Я не могу. Ах, вы цепи мои цепи. Вы железный сторожа. Не сорвать мне, не порвать. Мне да эх, и стамилась вся душа. Солнце луч уж не загля. Птиц не слышны голоса, как цветок и сердце вянет. Last line. Right, sad, eh? Okay, uh, Diana says goodbye. Okay, lower melody, so I do it if you sing. Okay, I kind of flipped between the, but I stuck to the lower one most of the time. Okay, now, um, can you hear of any similarities with songs, other songs from the end of the 18th century uh, from our Russian side of Sing With Me? We've sung some waltzy melodies, we've sung some um, uh, 
lyrical songs from that era. Uh, not all of you have been to these sessions, but um, anyone? Uh, I'm singing lyrics too. But yeah. No? Yeah? Okay. Um, in my head, there are lots of songs that connect to this melody, lots of lyrical songs. Um, we sang the Oak Tree song some time ago. Um, Oak. Duk Maguchi. Um, oh God, I should have thought about it, how it goes. Um, sorry, I cannot, it doesn't come to my head straight away. The big intervals, the ah, uh, they really are in, uh, really present in that kind of melodism. I'm sorry, I should have, I should have prepared that song. The Oak Tree song, Oak, uh, Dub. It's about the oak tree, uh, and it's a very strong song, very strong melody, just like that. Um, I, I'll research on that, and I, I'll put a link in, in in the YouTube video to that. Uh, okay, now we have ten, we have nine minutes, and we've gone through the two songs. So if you have anything to say, or any suggestions, or any comments, um, or we can go back to the Yiddish song again. Uh, please do. What do you think? Yeah, Deborah. You want to go to the Yiddish song? I would love to sing the Yiddish song again. I mean, I love and I've missed Russian, but that's such a fun song, the Yiddish one. The Yiddish one is fun, isn't it? And what's fun is to hear your chimes. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay to sing the Yiddish song. Uh, but I want your impressions on the Russian song. We don't sing prisoner songs in, in Sing With Me. We haven't really done much. Heavy it makes a change from death. Hmm? It makes a change from death songs. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, interesting. Yeah, certainly. Uh, we have oh, some. I like the da'ech part. It's like oy vey. Uh -huh. there, uh -huh. you know, that uh, you could sort of imagine the prisoner going oy vey each time. Mm -hmm. but... um, what this does is da'ech mean a... again? Yeah. What, what does da'ech mean again? Da'ech, it means ech, it, it's nothing. It's it's really like, an, it, it's it just really a, is oy vey. a sigh. It's a sigh, it's like oy vey. Uh, it's a sigh. <clears throat> we have these oy, da'ech, da'och in Russian lyrical songs, in Russian ballads all over the place. Eh, hey! It's just really just adding um, emotion. And to stretch the tune and imagine this uh, winter evening, you're a prisoner, you have nothing to do, but just think about your life. Um, so the air is really quite helpful, I guess. Okay, uh, before I show the Yiddish text in front of you, why don't we see if we remember how it goes? Yeah, I want to see you moving. I want to see you singing with me um, in a slightly higher key. I think that's the key we ended up with. Okay, yeah, that's key. Just la la la. A second, here we go. Was bist du, oi, was bist du, kotte kibarekes. Was was du, oi, was was du, argelos dinos. Oi, schrevels du, es an meine Ipes. Oi, von der Wand. Ich 
you a couple of questions when i post things on my website do you listen to the audio links if you haven't for this one i urge you to go and listen to the lebedev version of this one and to the instrumental version of this one and then maybe find the barry sisters version they are all different and they're all fun in their different ways and what's interesting about the aaron lebedev uh, recording is that he is kind of more serious about it than uh, than others uh, it's less mocking, but it's actually quite like a, this is an honest story of my family. And he also invents his own text and um, there are other bits of melody, as I said. And for the Russian song, the the choral versions are, are beautiful and the Shalapin version is great. So please do listen to these. Yeah. OK. I don't know when I'm going to see you next. Um, open to um, sometime soon. Uh, follow sing with me page follow my social media follow my website and my monthly newsletter yeah it's always great to see you so uh, yeah oi <laughs> everyone Keep well and keep singing. See you. Bye.